In the world of royalty, every action and statement is magnified, particularly when it comes to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Since their high-profile departure from royal duties and their relocation to California, the couple has remained in the public eye, often sparking intense debate about their relationship with the royal family. Now, according to royal expert Jenny Bond, Meghan is urging her husband to leave the past behind and focus on building their future together. With Prince Harry still reflecting on his ties to the royal family, this new revelation hints at the internal struggle he faces between his past and present. But could Meghan's encouragement be the key to his personal healing? And, more importantly, does it signal the end of any hopes for reconciliation with his family back in the UK? According to former BBC royal correspondent Jenny Bond, Meghan Markle has taken on the role of a supportive partner, encouraging Prince Harry to move forward and focus on the life they are building in California, rather than dwell on the past. As Bond explained to OK! Magazine, the Duchess of Sussex is keen for her husband to avoid the waste of a life that comes with brooding over past injustices. The couple has made significant changes in their lives since their decision to step back from royal duties in 2020, relocating to Montecito, California, with their son Archie. A year later, their daughter Lilibet was born, cementing their new life away from the constraints of the British monarchy. For Meghan, this move has always represented a fresh start. This is what Meghan and Harry have always wanted, a royal insider told people at the time of their relocation. It's got to feel like an immense relief to get out of the UK and go down their own path. The couple's Netflix series in 2022 echoed this sentiment, with Harry stating, we are exactly where we're supposed to be. But even with this new life, the Duke of Sussex can't help but miss certain aspects of his former royal existence. In his memoir Spare, Harry reflects on fond memories of family gatherings, revealing that despite the tumultuous events of recent years, part of him longs for the connection he once had with his relatives. However, Meghan appears to see things differently. Jenny Bond suggests that the Duchess believes their royal ties are firmly in the past, and the couple should focus on what lies ahead. While Harry may miss the camaraderie and closeness of his family, Meghan's stance represents a more pragmatic view of their current situation. The wounds of the past, from media scrutiny to personal conflicts, have taken their toll on both of them, but Meghan's push to leave it behind might be the healthiest approach for their future. For her, the desire to move on is likely rooted in their pursuit of independence and stability, goals that have driven their every decision since leaving the UK. Still, it's clear that Harry is torn. Friends of the Duke in the UK have noted his dissatisfaction, with one of his oldest confidants describing him as an angry boy whose life hasn't panned out as he had hoped. I think he misses being over here, in Britain, desperately and wants to be admired more, the friend shared with the Times. Despite Harry's attempts to adapt to his new life, these insights suggest he continues to struggle with the weight of leaving his royal duties behind, hinting that he may be yearning for the respect and connection he once had. The situation has become even more complicated with the health issues surrounding King Charles. Earlier this year, when news of the king's cancer diagnosis broke, Harry rushed back to the UK to be by his father's side. Their meeting, however, was brief, reportedly lasting less than 45 minutes. Following the visit, Harry expressed gratitude for the opportunity to see his father, telling ABC's Good Morning America, any illness, any sickness, brings families together. Yet, this reunion did little to repair the strained relationship between father and son, and the brevity of their meeting suggests that deeper wounds remain unhealed. As much as Harry may desire to mend these family ties, the trust between him and the royal family seems to have eroded over the years, particularly following the release of his memoir and the bombshell Netflix documentary. A source close to King Charles explained to the Times that the family is wary of Harry, fearing that any personal conversations could end up in the media. How do you regain the trust? The source asked. I don't think Harry ever can. However, the source also noted the king's enduring love for his son, stating that while the relationship has been severely damaged, it is not irreparable. King Charles's capacity to forgive remains intact, even as the path to reconciliation appears uncertain. As Prince Harry continues to navigate his new life in California with Meghan by his side, it's clear that his journey is far from over.
The balance between forging ahead and reconciling with his past is a delicate one, and Meghan's encouragement to leave behind old wounds may prove pivotal in Harry's personal growth. Yet, the lingering emotional ties to his family in the UK cannot be easily severed, especially given the deep history and recent health concerns surrounding King Charles. While Meghan may see brooding over the past as a waste of a life, Harry's inner conflict suggests that reconciliation, though difficult, remains something he still yearns for. Whether or not that path will ever be fully realized is a question only time can answer. For now, the couple's focus seems to be on creating their own legacy, far removed from the traditional constraints of royal life. But with every new revelation, the world is left wondering, will Harry ever truly find peace with his past, or will his journey home remain unfinished?